You know that feeling when you open your inbox in the morning and it's just chaos? Meeting invites, follow-ups, quick questions, and before you even start working, half your day's already gone. Well, imagine if you had an executive assistant sitting beside you, not a human one, but an AI one that reviewed your schedule, prioritized what mattered, and even drafted responses to help you get ahead before your first cup of coffee. Now, I know what you're thinking. But no, we're not talking about that AI. We don't have to write a better resume today. This is actually something that you can do with Microsoft Copilot if you know how to use scheduled prompts. Most people open Outlook and React. They let their day happen to them, but what if your AI could proactively brief you every morning, help you prioritize your task, and prep you for your meetings automatically? That's what I started testing this month. I set up scheduled prompts in Copilot that act like a virtual assistant peeing me at specific times of the day with context-aware questions and summaries. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to set up these scheduled prompts and some of the prompts that I leverage each day to maximize my productivity. Let's go ahead and dive in. Okay guys, so to get started here with scheduled prompts, I'm actually in the Teams desktop application here in the Copilot app that's on the left-hand nav. You can also be in a web browser going to office.com, which will redirect you to their new site, but it'll default into the chat experience, which is where you can set these up. Now, when you think about this, you wanna think about a prompt that you might wanna use on a daily basis or on a weekly basis. And a lot of EA executive assistant work can actually be thought about or facilitated through these scheduled prompts. So this is an example of a prompt that I have today that's on a schedule that I leverage here. You could say that this is for the past week, or you could say that you're using this on a daily basis as an example, but I'm basically saying here, I want you to summarize my email from the past week, but make sure that those emails are ones that I haven't responded to yet. And then I want you to quantify the importance of that email on a scale of one to five. And then from there, I'm asking you to prioritize a set of actions to follow up on and if the priority is greater than three, go ahead and start to draft an initial reply for me. So trying to save a lot of time, trying to say, you know, like we're focusing on what should be high priority items in our inbox. I could probably give it a few more bullets of contextual information to help it decipher what is important to me, but I wanted to see what it would do naturally as part of this. So I'm also like to use the GPT-5 model. Microsoft just announced that they're gonna make this the default model, so that'll be helpful. Um, but let's go ahead and run this and just see what comes back. Okay, so we're back here and you'll notice that it reasoned for 27 seconds using you know the reasoning in GPT-5. And then it gives me this focus triage of the last seven days in email that I don't appear to have responded to yet. Um, and then it notes here, because Outlook search doesn't have to expose a definitive reply to flag, we uh, prioritize unread messages and threads where I did not see recent outbound reply from you. So it's using some additional context there, helpful to actually understand what it's doing. But these emails, I would say, are largely you know, uh, contextual in the sense of the same format that you would see every time. Importance, you know, five out of five in the sense of why it matters. It's time sensitive, more of an executive summary here. And then a draft reply. I'd be transparent in saying, you know, based on my experience so far, the draft replies are hit or miss, you know, with the amount of usefulness in them. Um, but it is helpful when they are successful because then I don't actually have to type all that out and I can quickly just run through this. So the big importance here to me was being able to batch my time in the sense of responding to these emails and maybe do that twice a day versus reacting to emails that are coming through my inbox all day long, which many of us out there might be doing today. Now I'm graying out some information here for the sake of privacy, but you'll notice that it's nice in the sense that it's referencing and gives you deep links to these emails that you can go in and take a look at further. You have the consistent format, and then again, those draft replies that hopefully can use to start to speed up this type of process. Now, if we wanna go ahead and make this a scheduled prompt, we can scroll back up as I've done here to when you originally just sent over the prompt, and if you hover over it, you'll now see this icon that says schedule this prompt. And this will bring up this uh, modal for you to customize here. And it gives you some basic settings that you can configure. So you can configure the start date, the start time. In this particular case, this email, you might want to schedule it since it's you know from the past week. You might want to schedule it at 8 a.m. you know on Monday as an example of this so that it runs you know every week um, as part of that. Now, subsequently, you could do every day and you might want it to do, instead of saying, hey, summarize my email from the past day, 
and just tick off Saturday and Sunday as an example. Now, this next setting is a little bit, you know, mixed feelings from me because I think that when we talk about this, you can run it up to 15 times at the time of this recording, which is at first glance, not great because you think about this is going to just drop off and then I have to go reconfigure it again, which isn't hard to be fair, but it is kind of an annoyance there. But on the other end, uh, when you think about this, you, you can see that it's going to go, you know, till January 28th in this case, if we run it 15 times. And at the time of this recording, it's October. So it's about a quarter that you're getting this run um, before you then have to go set it back up again. It's actually kind of a healthy review process for you to say, could I tweak this further? You know, is this still helpful to me? And so on and so forth as an example of that. And then this last tick box here is to say you can receive an email when responses are ready. This is just simply going to email you a generic email with a deep link to take you to the chat, you know, that, that it's produced as part of this. So I can actually go in here and click on save. You'll see that there's a couple of duplicates because I've done this a few different times in the sense of a demo, but this is where you can see all your um, active scheduled prompts. And in the context here, you can see um, an ellipsis in the far right corner. You can click on scheduled prompts and then see all the ones you have. You can run them on demand. You can turn them off or you can delete them as part of this. When they do actually run on their schedule, they'll show up here in the middle nav as part of the conversations and they'll show up as kind of a read receipt view, meaning they're going to be bolded. They're going to have a green check next to them um, and they're going to be something that you can view here um, after they are produced. So this is going to be one of the prompts that you could potentially leverage. This is another example that I have uh, running right now. Uh, to be fair, this is a prompt that I saw actually in another creator's video that I thought was good, tried it out, produced great results. So you can't discredit, you know, a great prompt when you see it. This is something whenever you are looking at this, you know, Copilot obviously has this access that's different than most AI models where it can contextually look into your emails, your meetings, your documents, and your team's messages. So there should be a lot of powerful things that you can do with that. But I'm basically seeing here, you know, take a look at all this and, and prioritize what, you know, I should be doing, you know, for my day as part of this as well too. Now, while I'm showing a lot of examples from a prompt perspective around EA work, you know, looking at my calendar, looking at my email, the scheduled prompts could actually be used for a variety of different use cases. I wanted to show you guys another example just to get your mind into a place where you could recognize where there's potential. And this is specifically a prompt that, you know, I'm basically trying to leverage here to surface any, you know, contextual information around particular topics that relate back to my business. So in this case, we're talking about Cloud Capsule. It's an app that I built that, you know, automates security assessments for Microsoft. So we might want to do, you know, some automated analysis to see, you know, where um, things like this might be mentioned. You know, can we inject ourselves in there? Can we learn? You know, can we get feedback um, of, as part of that? And you might want to search popular sources like Reddit or Discord as part of this. Another one here that I've used in the past also is to find mentions of your brand or your company um, as part of this use case here too. And so, you know, this one I would say transparently is hit or miss as far as the results that you might get or see here. A lot of the cases it would find resources in Reddit, but they would be significantly outdated. Um, as an example of that, where if you're running this on a weekly or monthly basis, um, that would be something you'd want to see more real time. So just wanted to give you guys a couple of examples. Scheduled prompts don't just have to be your personal assistant. Um, as this particular case, they can flow into various business functions. Now, when we talk about this workflow, you know, in and of itself, the workflow term is actually what's being used on the back end. And what I mean by that here in Teams is that there's actually a workflows app um, that's the engine behind kind of triggering these things. And it's based off of the power platform on the back end. But Microsoft specifically has started to add this, this catalog of pre-built workflows that you can use. And I certainly use in the sense of, you know, help me prepare for my day, which is basically giving you this prompt if you click in, very similar, you know, uh, input that you would provide it here for the parameters, which includes, you know, help me prepare for my day, help me prepare for my week. And then you can choose to send the summary, either an email or teams, which will start a chat, which I'll show you guys here in a second. And then you can dictate the days. Now, whenever you create those, you can see I have two here, which is help me prepare for my day and then help me prepare my meetings uh, next week and send the summary in teams. 
And so this is one I schedule for Fridays to run, you know, earlier in the day. So I can use Friday to help, you know, start to prepare for the next week um, as part of that, or maybe restructure some things where we might have conflicts, things like that. Just trying to be proactive again uh, with these, but you'll notice the UI is very same here, you know, for the activity. The difference here is that these actually don't show up in that same context in the Copilot app. And specifically, this will show up in chat. I've clicked on this tab here in the workflows app, you know, for you to be able to see that, but it'll come up here just as you're chatting with another user. Um, this is an example of some of the summary that it provides here as well too. And this is maybe a daily or weekly um, summary as part of this, but this is giving you, you know, the uh, meetings that you're gonna have, some of the details um, as part of that and the times. So it's brief in nature, but it'll take you through and, and step you through a variety of different topics like important emails in this particular case, as well as recent files you've been working on, you know, as some summary of this as well. So all in all, it's just a good recap that you get maybe at the end of your week, maybe at the beginning of your day, maybe at the end of your day, depends on how you want that to be facilitated, how you work. I find it's helpful to recap my day and recap, you know, everything coming into the next week just to stay on top of things because as we all have, you know, uh, hectic calendars, hectic schedules that come up. Okay, guys, that's everything I had for you today. If you want to make Copilot actually work for you, stop treating it like a chatbot and start treating it like an assistant. My challenge to you guys this week is to create your own two scheduled prompts and see how they work in your environment. If you guys want the prompts that I leverage in this video, be sure to check out my blog post in the video description. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next week.